Welcome to another photography walk and talk. Today we're talking Pintex new film camera announcement part two. Well, my last video was made right after I had seen a video announcing Pentax's new uh, film camera they're developing. He was talking about the specs and and what this camera was going to be. I think that video came across too negative. I try to keep things positive on this channel, except for the occasional self-deprecation. I've been known to not like what I do. <laughs> I'm not that impressed with my photography usually. Occasionally I'll get something I like, but I, I, I can be pretty critical. It was pretty clear in that last video that I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> I was disappointed with the uh, choice that Pentax was making. But why was I so disappointed? I, I've been thinking about that a lot this week. And what I think it comes down to is, I think I was disappointed with their marketing. <laughs> their perceived marketing, how I perceive their marketing of this product. And I think I was also disappointed because I was putting a lot of hope in this company to save photography, come out with a new, a new camera product, a new camera. And I, I don't think that's fair. <laughs> and I think what triggered me the most, <laughs> which was pretty clear in the video, was the the appearance that they were marketing this as a cool social media camera. <laughs> and I don't know why that triggered me. It's really just a, a marketing strategy that might pay off for them. And however they decide to market their products, that, that's their business. <laughs> it's their product. I expected their first camera, their new camera, to be geared towards the younger photographer. I expected it to be basic. What I was hoping for was something like a, a point-and-shoot camera, basically, but something a little cooler, like maybe a Contax T2, or something more practical like a an Olympus stylus. I, I, uh, I was hoping it'd be cool if somebody was making something like that. I think my initial response was, well, that's kind of boring. It's a half frame camera. Why, what, why do I want, why do, we, why do we need a half frame camera? There's already some of those out there. But really, it's, it's not my decision. I'm not putting up the money. <laughs> I'm not the one trying to uh, come out with a new camera product. I really don't have a thing to say about it. I wasn't happy with the half frame aspect of this new camera. And then I started thinking, well, why is that so disappointing? Why does that bother me? I actually love pinhole cameras, the, the photography people do with it. The low resolution or the lower resolution aspect of a half frame camera shouldn't be that big of an issue to me. I've had Quite a few prints done with cameras that had 12 megapixels. <laughs> I have one in my living room, a, a pretty good sized print that I absolutely love. And I think it was made on a six megapixel camera. I think part of my problem is I still judge film photography like I used to when I started out many years ago. When I was a younger photographer shooting 35 millimeter, I was always longing for higher image quality, sharpness, resolution. I ended up going to large format. But now that we're in 2024, there are some digital cam digital cameras can do all that. It, it doesn't, I don't need that high resolution look. I don't need the super sharp images. I'm not doing documentary natural history photos. I'm doing my impression, an artistic impression of nature. It's easy to get stuck 
in our ways or at least it's easy for me to get stuck in my ways using the same film the same type of camera same format work the same way all the time and well consistency is good I need to be more open to other possibilities other ways to express myself with photography in my last video I said this camera is not for me but after giving it some thought this camera could be for me <laughs> if I'm if I open myself up to the possibilities there could be something a look that this camera gives that I might find desirable in my photography I shouldn't be so close-minded the limitation isn't the camera the limitation is my imagination on how to use the camera it's up to me to figure out how can I be creative how can I express myself with this camera and that goes for any camera whether it, uh, it be a, a 110 or a 8x10 <laughs> large format it's up to me to figure out how to be creative how to express myself with this camera. It's not Pentax's responsibility to save film photography. I shouldn't be putting that on them. Whether they succeed or they don't, I should at least be applauding and supporting their efforts. If I can afford it, I will purchase, I will buy one of these cameras. Unfortunately, I'm one of those poor photographers. <laughs> But if I, can, if I can swing it, I'm going to try to support these efforts. No one's going to see this video at, at Pentax or Ryko. I just want to say I'm sorry for being unfair in my judgment. I want to be supportive. I want to do the best I can to support anybody's efforts to bringing out something new that can enhance the film photography experience. Well, I've, I've, I've groveled enough here. <laughs> so I think we're going to end today's video right here. Until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.